Good evening YouTube, brewed by me, back again. Gonna do another review, yes I am. My Boddington Pub Blast, it's a really good beer actually. Uh, I'm gonna be doing another review, tonight I'm gonna be reviewing Nickelbrook Cuvée. Um, Spice Strong Ale Oak, 7.75% um, ABV. Um, now Cuvée is like a, it's, it's a word they use for like a, aged mixer. Um, you see it a lot in like uh, wines and stuff. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a spice strong ale so uh, basically I should pick up some spices off here. I should pick up some wood. Um, so it's the Nickelbrook Cuvée. I've already told you the story about them. Very very good brewery. Very very nice people. Um, Just a little falling out, that's all. So let's give her a pour, see what we get. Not like the last one, this one looks like this, like a little darker in color. So this one is like a dark, this is, this is a red, like an amber on the low spectrum of the, low spectrum of the red. A very, very, it, this one I can see through. Um, but it says it's unfiltered, so whatever. There's nice carbonation, a finger ahead, tanny yellow head. Don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it looks good. Let's give her a smell, see what we get. Woo, lots of spices. Wow. Wow, there's like a lot going on in here. Coriander, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon. Vanilla. Kind of like a well, there's like a, a slight bit of a woody smell there. So that must be the oak. Sounds like it's like a. It smells like it has like a. a it's like a whiskey a barrel kind of oak. But yeah, some nice vanilla. Some nice spice character. It smells really good and it looks good too. Um, the head's dissipated, but the beer is 7.75, so. Anyways, I told you what it looked like, I told you what it smelled like, let's give her a taste. Mmm, that's a good beer. Mm. Wow. Very, very nice tasting beer. Lots of flavors. Very easy drinking. You barely taste the alcohol in it. Um, take a swig of it right up front, you get a big mouthful of sweet malts. As it goes back to the back of your throat, you pick up those oak uh, characters, the, the vanilla, the spices, as it hits the back of your throat, there's a nice bittering. Um, it's like a floral kind of bittering. A very very light um, for a big for a high alcohol beer it's a light bodied if you know what I mean <laughs> excuse me this beer is awesome it's really good Nickelbrook Cuvée if you can find it get it it's worth a taste nice characters there um, you have to like oak um, or those kind of beers like um, Innocent Gun, um, anything um, with like a whiskey, um, a scotch, rye type of background. Because there's a lot of those characters in the beer, like the, 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 the spices and the smells and stuff. I can have a few of these. 
and not know that I'm getting fucked up um, because it's such an easy drinking beer. But 7.75, if you drink these too fast, yeah, it'll hit you. The fucking knock you in the ass. Anyways, malt profile, I'm going to say two row, caramel, crystal, uh, probably some roasted barley, and maybe like a, a, a special malt, like a carafa or a, um, a, a caroma or something like that. That's the, that's the type of malts I'm picking up. For the hops, it's hard to, to dis decipher the hops because of the uh, oak and the spices going on, but I'm going to say it's like a... a Probably like Halatower, Herzbucker, Tetnager, Tetnang, uh, those type of hops, floral, uh, earthy kind of hops. Yeah, there you have it, guys. I told you what the beer looked like. I told you what it smelled like. I told you what it tastes like. Go go out and get yourself some if you can get it. Nickelbrook, good job. It's a good beer. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box, and I will get back to you as soon as possible.